Morris. You join me here on the Intergalactic Time Capsule. We're here to play a unique game, a game where knowing the answer isn't the only thing you need to win. In this game, you need to wait as long as possible if you want to get maximum points. And that's something you definitely want to do to avoid ending up in the goo portal. It's full of all of this horrible stuff. Now, of course, because it's a game show, we need questions. And luckily, we've got a computer chock-a-block full of them. He's the total intelligence mechanism, or as I like to call him, Tim. Hey, Tim, you ready to start a new game? Whenever you're ready. All right, let's see who's playing today. Here's team from Edinburgh, and our first player is Rachel. Hello, Rachel. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. I understand, Rachel, you're a bit of a dancer. Yeah. Is that right? What sort of dancing do you do? Street dance. Street dance? What's street dance, then? It's like dancing to, like, modern pop songs, like an R&B. Oh, cool. It's lovely to meet you. Best of luck. Thank you. All right. Our second contestant is Calvin. Hello, Calvin. Hi. I love this T-shirt. Oh, thanks. It's cool, isn't yeah. it? There's loads of stuff on there. There's, yeah. there's like a plane and all sorts. Yeah. All right. Well, nice to meet you, Calvin. Our third player is Murray. Hello, Murray. Hi. Who do you think is your, uh, your biggest competition on the team today? Uh, none of them. None of them? No. You're top of the class? Yep. All right. Well, nice to meet you, Murray. OK. Let's meet our fourth and final contestant. This is Sam. Hello, Sam. Hi. So what's your best subject at school? Uh, sports, probably. Sports. Do you play? Yeah, football. What position? Uh, defender. Defender. OK. Who's your favourite football team? Hearts. All right. Well, nice to meet you guys. Let's go into round number one. Now, every question has a series of clues each lasting 15 seconds. The question starts at the same time the clock begins counting from zero to 15. Now, you can buzz in at any time, but the longer you wait, the more points you'll get. So if you buzz in at seven seconds, give me the correct answer, you'll get yourself seven points. If you give me an incorrect answer, everyone else gets seven points. All right, you have to listen carefully to the clues, and when you think you know the answer, wait for it. OK. Round one, question one. Let's have it, Tim. You probably look forward to me visiting your house. I only come round once a year, but it's usually well worth the wait. I'm a jolly old man. I have a beard and a red suit. I don't stay long when I come round, as I have to get to everyone in the same night. Oh, Rachel in first. Santa Claus. Santa Claus is the correct answer. Well played. With it for 13 seconds, you've got 13 points, but I've got a feeling, Murray, Sam, did you guys know the answer? Yeah. Yeah, were you waiting to try and up the points? Yeah. Just got in before you, didn't she? Never mind, it's only the first question. Let's hear the second one, Tim. I'm a widely spoken language. I'm also a Western European nationality. You will most certainly study me at school. I have taken words from many other languages. I'm the language that you're hearing right now. I can... Oh, Sam in first. What's the English. answer? English is correct. Well played. 13 points. Good waiting. This is good. Everyone's watching one another. Real strategy going on here. It's excellent. OK, question three. I'm a number. You might sound very well known. Famous even. I feature in countdowns and give my name to a TV channel. You should have this many portions of fruit and veg each day. Most people have this number of digits on each... Oh, Murray in first. Five. It's the correct answer. Well played. <laughs> 13 points. Excellent gameplay. Very good. I'm impressed. OK, question four, please, Tim. I'm an animal native to Africa. I'm a very large plant-eating mammal with an enormous mouth, an almost hairless body and stubby legs. I live in groups of between five and 30 animals and I spend most of my life living in and around rivers. My name is often abbreviated to hippo. Ooh, out of time there. Did anyone know the answer? Oh, never mind. The answer was hippopotamus. It was hippo. Never mind. OK, this is question five, so we're halfway through the round now. Listen closely, guys. I'm something that can be attached to a piece of clothing. I might have a picture or a slogan on me or both. In the wild west, sheriffs used to have a star-shaped one. Blue. Murray. Is that a badge? It's the correct answer. Well played. <laughs> Ten points. This is question number six. 
I'm a type of dance, usually more popular with girls than boys. My dancers wear leotards, tutus and special shoes for balancing on the tips of their toes. Billy Elliot became this type of... Ooh, Rachel in first. Ballet. Ballet is the correct answer. Well done. Ten points for Rachel. This is question number seven. I'm the type of plant that comes from North and South America. I'm most commonly found in desert areas, but smaller varieties are often kept as potted house plants. You wouldn't want to touch me, as I have very... Salmon first there. Cactus. Cactus. It's correct. Well played. Well done. OK. Three more questions in this round. This is number eight. I'm a religious festival that was first celebrated in Southern Asia and which many people now keep in the UK. When I'm celebrated in India, it's a national holiday. When I take place in October or November, people make oil lamps from wicks and clay pots. My name means Festival of Lights. Ooh, out of time, the answer was Diwali. Never mind, OK. This is question number nine. My name means Star Sailor in Greek. In America, the agency responsible for me and my colleagues is called NASA. I'm trained to travel into space. In 1969, some of us landed. Sam in first. What's the Astronaut. answer? Astronaut. Astronaut is correct. Well played, Sam. <laughs> Got yourself ten points. Sam, that was your last life. Used up all three of them, so you're frozen out for this last question. I'm a tool. I'm made of metal. Although I can sometimes be adjustable, I'm usually designed to work with objects of a certain size. I tighten up nuts and bolts. In the game of Cluedo, I'm one of the murderers. Oh, Murray in first. Is that a spanner? Spanner. It's correct. Well played. <laughs> 13 points. Wow. Some high scores there. But who's done enough to survive? Who waited the longest? There's only one way to find out. Guys, leave your play pods and enter the drop zone. Tim has been keeping tabs on the scores. I can reveal that the first person safe and through to round number two is... Murray! Well played! Well done, Murray. The second person safe, definitely going through to round number two, is... Sam! Well played, Sam. He looks pleased with himself. OK, Calvin and Rachel probably had a little bit of a funny feeling in their stomachs right now. But the person leaving the drop zone and entering the goo portal is... It's Calvin! Oh, sorry to see you go, Calvin. Wave bye to him, fellas. Bye. Bye. Oh. very sympathetic to poor old Calvin out there in the drop zone. You were giggling away when he fell into the goo. It looked really funny. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is round number two. It's watch and wait. It's different to round number one, but it's got the same scoring system. I'm going to give you a category and you have to decide how many seconds worth of clue you think you'll need to answer the question correctly. Now, you won't hear the clues. You'll just hear this annoying ticking sound. You'll hear that till you stop the clock. And if you stop the clock, say, on eight seconds, you'll hear eight seconds worth of clue. If you get it right, you'll get yourself eight points. If you get it wrong, we continue to play the clues and give your opponents a chance to swipe those points. You've got three lives, and it's important to wait as long as possible to bag maximum points. Let's wait for it. The first category is games, OK? So, Tim... Can we start the clock, please? Remember to keep an eye on each other, an eye on the clock. You think you've got enough seconds to answer the question. Oh, Sam, you're going to hear 11 seconds worth of clue. Let's have them, Tim. 
I'm an activity you do indoors. You do this in what's called an alley, where there are lots of lanes. You need to be strong to pick up the balls you need for this game. And all you have to do is knock over ten... Sam looked confident there on the end. Do you know the answer? Bowling. It's correct. Well played. <laughs> well done. That means you get 11 points, Sam. Good stuff. Good start. All right. The second category is objects. Let's start it, Tim. Tense. Murray got in there first, though. Stop the clock at 11 seconds. Tim, let's hear the clues. I'm something that you'd find handy in bad weather. It's supposedly bad luck to open me indoors. If you open me up and hold me above your head, I'll stop you getting wet. Although on windy days, I'll often turn inside out. Murray looks confident. That's no doubt about that. What's the answer? Umbrella. Umbrella is absolutely correct. Well played. That's 11 points to you. All right. This is the uh, third question. The category is music. Start the clock, please, Tim. <laughs> oh, Rachel, you were going to buzz and then you didn't and then you buzzed in at 10 seconds. All right, let's hear the clues. I'm a musical instrument. I'm made up of wooden bars which make different notes according to their size. Sometimes my bars are different colours. You play them. Is it a flute? Flute's the wrong answer, I'm afraid. Oh, sorry about that, Rachel. Guys, we're going to continue to play the clues, give you a chance to swipe these points. So let's start again, Tim. By hitting these bars with a small... Oh, Murray in first. Is it a xylophone? It's the correct answer. Well played. <laughs> wow. Well swiped there, Marie. OK, the next category is books. Start the clock, Tim, please. Looking at each other, looking at the clock, that's good. <coughs> oh, Sam just got in first. I think everyone went for the buzzers then. Stop the clock at 11 seconds. Let's hear the clues, Tim. I'm the hero of children's books, which have been made into films. I'm from a poor family and start out living in a house with my parents and all four of my grandparents. The best known of whom is Grandpa Joe. Ooh, I'm not so sure. What do you think, Sam? Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. I'm afraid it's not right, Sam. We're going to continue to play the clues, see if someone can swipe these points. So, let's start the clues. One day, I find a golden ticket that lets me visit a famous chocolate factory. Oh, out of time there. You were so close, Sam. The answer we were looking for was Charlie Bucket. I needed the full name of the character, Sam, so unfortunately, I couldn't give you the point there. But there are two more questions. The next category is objects. Start the clock, Tim. Oh, Rachel in first. Stopped us at 10 seconds. Let's have the clues. I was originally made of glass. Thankfully, I'm now made of something a lot softer. If you lose me, you might not be able to find me. I come in several colours. You look a little bit puzzled there, Rachel. It's quite a toughie. Do you know the answer? No. Oh, that's a shame. That's a shame. Never mind. We're going to play the rest of the clues. Murray, Sam, both of you have a chance to swipe these points. So let's continue the clues, Tim. If you have bad eyesight, an optician might tell you to... <coughs> oh, Sam buzzed in on his last life there. What's the answer? Is it glasses? It's a good guess, but it's the wrong answer, Sam. The answer we were looking for was contact lenses. Never mind. One more question left. Sam's used up all of his lives, so he's frozen out with this final question. The only people able to answer are Rachel and Murray, OK? So let's start the clock, Tim. <coughs> oh, Murray got in there first. 11 seconds. Let's hear 11 seconds worth of clue on general knowledge. I'm a piece of furniture which is usually made of wood, but can be metal or plastic. You might sit at one of these at school to do your work. 
Sometimes I have a lid which lifts up so that you can... Murray, do you know the answer? Um... <laughs> Gonna have to hurry you. <laughs> I'm sorry, out of time there, Murray. <laughs> Ooh, OK. The clock's at 11 seconds, Rachel. You've got a chance to swipe these points, but you've got to get in there quickly, OK? Let's restart the clues, Tim. Door your books inside. <laughs> oh, Rachel in straight away at 12. Um, desk. It's correct! Well played! <laughs> well swiped. Got yourself 12 points there, Rachel. Absolutely fantastic. OK, that is the end of round number two. Who waited the longest? Who picked up the most points? I don't know. It's time for the guys to leave their play pods and enter the drop zone. Okay. Tim's been keeping score. The person with the most points and definitely coming through to the next round is... Murray! Oh, he looks surprised. <laughs> well done, Murray. Surprised and relieved there. OK, Rachel, Sam, unfortunately, we have to say bye-bye to one of you. And the person entering the goo portal is... <laughs> Sam! Sorry, Sam, we've got to say goodbye. See you later, my friend. Good man, Sam. Oh, he looks happy down there. <laughs> Rachel, you're a bit of a permanent fixture out there, out there on the end, aren't you? I really thought I was going in on that last one. I was so scared, I really don't want to go in the car. Well, you know what? Actually, you saved yourself with that last question in the round. You know when you, you swipe the points? Yeah. All right. Well, this is round number three. It's our head-to-head -head round. We call it Wait and See. Now, this part of the game tests how well you know your opponent's strengths and weaknesses. I'm going to give you a category, and you have to decide when they're going to buzz in with their answer. Now, you've got three prediction time slots. The slots are one to five seconds, six to ten seconds, and 11 to 15 seconds. Now, of course, your opponent won't be able to see your prediction. The points don't match the clock this time. It's the best of five. So, it's now time to wait and see if you can make the right prediction. So, Murray, you waited the longest from the first two rounds, so you get to decide, do you want to predict first or do you want to answer a question first? Um, I'll just predict. You predict first, OK. Well, the first category is colour. So before you make your prediction, Rachel, are you a visual person? Eh, uh, not really. No? No. Are you good at, in art, at mixing colours? And... Not really, I'm not too good at art. Oh, OK. Is this a bluff, though? It's difficult to tell, Murray. You know Rachel a lot better than I do. You have to decide. Could you make your prediction for us now, please? Rachel, you stay facing forward. OK, we can all see that prediction but you. So, Tim? Let's hear the clues. I'm a primary colour. I'm a warm colour, but I'm associated with cowards. When I'm mixed with red, I turn orange. Taxis in New York, daffodils, lemons... <coughs> oh, in at 11 seconds, what's the answer? Yellow. Yellow is correct. Let's see the prediction. Oh, Murray predicted between 6 and 10 seconds. You got it right at 11, which means you get the point, Rachel. Well played. <laughs> Good first question. OK. The next category is fictional characters. So let's see what Murray has to say about that. Murray, are you a big reader? Do you read books? <laughs> no. Do you watch TV, films? Uh, I watch TV, yeah, films. OK, so you might know a little bit about fictional characters. What do you think, Rachel? It's time to make your prediction. There's the prediction for all to see. Here come the clues, Tim. I'm a type of person who does magic. I mostly wear black, and my hat is always crooked. My nose is normally long and hooked, with a big mole at the end. I cast spells. I'm often accompanied by a black cat. <laughs> oh! <laughs> you almost forgot to buzz in there, Murray. You buzzed in at 13 seconds. What's the answer? Is that a magician? Oh, it's the wrong answer. Let's look at the predicted time. Oh! 
11 and 15, which means if you can answer the question correctly, Rachel, you'll get the point. Which? Was that a guess? Yeah. It was a good guess, absolutely correct! Wow! Well swiped! <laughs> so that's two points to you, Rachel. Murray, yet to get a point, but it's your turn to predict, OK? The category is places. Rachel, do you, have you travelled around a lot? I have, but I'm not good at geography at all. So. You're not good at geography? No, not at all. OK. Is she bluffing? You have to decide. Please make your prediction. OK, we can all see that, but Rachel, are you ready? Yeah. OK, let's play the clues. I'm an area of south-west London. There is a flower show held here every year. I also have a premiership football club named after me. They play in blue, and their home ground is Stamford Bridge. <coughs> oh, busted in at 13. Ew, I have no idea. Um, I pass, I don't know. You're passing? OK, let's see the predicted time. Oh, 11 to 15. You came in at 13. That's within your time, Marie. So if you can get the question right, then you get the point. Do you know the answer? Chelsea. It's the right answer. Well played. <laughs> Good work, Marie. You've saved yourself there. So the point situation is Rachel has two, Marie has one. Marie, you need to get an, a point on this question to stay in the game, OK? The category is food and drink. And, Rachel, it's your turn to predict, so take a moment, just have a think while we talk to Murray. Do you enjoy food? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you go out to restaurants and stuff with your parents? A lot when I'm on holiday. OK. But... Are you ready to make your prediction, Rachel? Yeah. You press the button when you're ready. OK, there's Rachel's prediction. Let's hear the clues, Tim, please. I'm a type of drink. I come in a variety of flavours. Chocolate, strawberry, banana and vanilla are probably my most popular. I'm usually drunk cold. Oh, in at nine seconds there. What's the answer? Is it a smoothie? It's the wrong answer, I'm afraid. Let's see the prediction. Oh, you came in at nine seconds. Rachel predicted between 11 and 15, which means nobody gets the point. The answer was milkshake. OK. We're at question five in this round. Murray, you need a point here to stay in the game. The next category is sport. Murray, it's your turn to predict. So, Rachel, how are you on sport? Oh, it depends what kind of sport it is. I'm, like, rubbish at football and stuff. I've, I'm close to that. I OK, so what sports are you good at? Um, netball. Murray, what do you think? Make your prediction, please. OK. Tim, let's play the clues. I'm someone who plays cricket. You can't play a game of cricket without me. I wear a pair of pads to protect my legs. I stand behind the stumps, hoping to catch the ball if the bat... Ooh, in at ten seconds. What's the answer? Um, is it a... a bowler? It's not the bowler. Let's look at the predicted time. Oh! 11 to 15 seconds, which means you were incorrect, Marie. We were looking for wicketkeeper. No one gets the points. That means Rachel is the winner of this round. Well done, Rachel. <laughs> OK, so if Rachel is going through to the final round, that must mean we're about to say goodbye to Murray. Murray, you've been an excellent player. If you could leave your pod and please enter the drop zone. How does it feel out there? <laughs> A little Nervous. bit lonely. <laughs> Have you got anything you'd like to say to Rachel at this point? Good luck. <laughs> good luck. It's very nice of him. All right, Marie, well, you've been good, but now we have to say goodbye. Entering the goo portal, it's Murray! We're bye, everyone! Well done. Thank you. This is your last challenge, all right? Okay. You're going to hear a series of questions. Each of them are 10 seconds long. Now, you've got 60 seconds to give me six correct answers and make your way across the goo portal. I'm going to do it now. Wish me luck. Good luck. OK, good, Break good. Break a leg. <laughs> Break a leg, hopefully not. Oh, come on. 
Yes! Now, if you make it over in 40 seconds or more, you're going to be taking home one of today's top prizes. But you can only move forward when you get a question correct. If you get it wrong or you pass, then you stay where you are until you get the next one right. Even though you've got 60 seconds, you won't be able to hear or see the clock. So you have to keep track in your mind. Best of luck. Thank I hope you. you do well. OK, Tim, let's play. I don't have a back or arms. I'm something that you can sit on. I sometimes have fewer legs than a chair, and I'm often low to the ground. Correct, move forward. I'm a place you might visit in a town or city. I usually happen outside. You can buy all kinds of things here, like fruit and vegetables and fish and clothes. If you Supermarket. put the word super in front... Ooh, I'm wrong. a famous sporting competition held every four years. Brazil have won me five times, but Italy are the current champions. Um, ooh, uh, England won ooh, once in pass. 1960. Okay, next question. I am a musical instrument, although some people would disagree. I make an instantly recognisable sound. Air is blown into a bag and creates notes as it comes out of some pipes. Bagpipes! I... That's right, move forward. I'm a type of building or room. If you want to find out some information, I'm a good place to look. People are often yes. told to... Next one. I'm a type of drawing. I can be a drawing of anything. Sometimes I'm a drawing of nothing in particular, just shapes. You might Painting. draw me when you're bored. I rub... Incorrect, next question. I'm a very important part of a vehicle. I'm round and found inside at the front. Engine? When the vehicle... That's wrong, next question. I'm a children's TV programme. I focus on the efforts of a group of friends who run a beachside cafe on a beautiful island. There's the klaxon, we know what that means. Three, two, one. Oh, Rachel! Oh, you did so well, and you're not going to go home empty handed. You get to take away one of our intergalactic space bouncers. Well done, Rachel. Give her a hand, everyone. Yeah. Join us next time on Wait for It. But it was really fun to go in, so I was like swimming around. Wait for it! Yeah! How'd you make Lady Gaga cry? Poke her face. Oh, I was going to say nick a teddy bear. Oh, we're on. Oh, up next, animals at work. It's great to skate. But who will be the greatest? 14 teams are fighting for the chance to take the skating world by storm. They'll need to impress the judges. I can't wait for the rest of the series. And the audience. Did the voice impress you? Find out who's the greatest skater in Skate Nation. Saturdays at 9. See BBC on BBC2. Thanks a lot. Thanks for making us look good. Yeah. 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 Cheers. Cheers. Hi, this is Animal.